Hi everyone, this is a well used Erica 5 tab, or if you are into LeadSpeak, an Erica tab. Since this machine was built well before LeadSpeak was a thing, I'll be calling it an Erica 5 tab for the remainder of this video. The Erica 5 tab was produced from 1932 until 1949 alongside the Model 5, 6, M, and S. The 5 tab was based on the 5 and added a tabulator, as the name implies. According to the serial number, which can be found just below the spacebar, and some cross-referencing in the typewriter database, this machine was produced in 1943. This hammer texture paint deviates from the earlier glossier paint styles of the Erica lineup, and was, as far as I can tell from browsing the typewriter database, only used on machines from 1943 and later. The same goes for the painted logo on the ribbon cover. On most earlier versions this logo was cast or stamped on the cover. On the keyboard you have the following controls. The classic shift button on each side and the shift lock above the left shift key. The machine is carriage shifted. The key lever system is something that sets an Erica typewriter apart from other brands. These double hinges cause the keys to move down vertically instead of sloping down when a key is pressed. On the right side of the keyboard you'll also find the backspace and the tab key. On the left side of the keyboard you'll find the margin release, R, and the tabulator set key, S. You can set individual tabs, but you can't remove individual tabs with the keyboard buttons. Tab removal is done with this lever on the carriage. You press it down and move the carriage to the right to remove all tabs. You can remove individual tabs as well by moving the carriage towards the tab and only hold down the reset lever for just the section where the tab is set. This machine was a very well used machine as the wear suggests. The front decals are almost entirely gone. The vertical alignment of the tie bars has been adjusted many times as these pinning marks suggest. The plating has a lot of wear and is even almost gone in different spots. You can't believe how bent and dirty these carriage release and paper release levers were. The legends of the paper bale were all gunky instead of white. The state of this machine wasn't something nice or special at all, yet I really wanted it. It wasn't the pimped out paper support or the Adolf dealer tag, which was originally on the front of the paper table, but it was this lever. Standing upright, like ein starker und solter Junge. This Erika 5 tab has a heavily modified carriage. Normally, you would find the following levers on the right side. The tab reset, the ratchet release, the carriage lock and the line selector. They are present on this machine as well. Some of them are just modified a fair bit. This is the ratchet release and this is the carriage lock. I've already shown you the tab reset lever, and this quarter wheel is the line spacing selector. The line setting can be read at the carriage return lever. The right platen knob can still be extended to enable the line finder mechanism. All these modifications were made to fit in a paper injector, a feature normally only found on a standard machine. You can't set the number of lines the paper advances like on standard, but this mechanism has another trick up its sleeve. On most machines, you need to lift the paper bale to make sure you can feed the paper properly. Some machines solve this issue by providing transparent plastic card guides that keep the paper in contact with the platen, up to the paper bale rollers, so you don't need to lift the paper bale. But those transparent plastic shields are only found on relatively newer machines. The paper injector on this Erica solves that issue. Pulling the lever also activates a mechanism that lifts the paper bill and pulls it back down when the paper injector lever is released. How cool is that? Let's watch that in slow motion. The big gear interacts with the small gear that is added on the elongated right platen knob shaft to turn the platen. This little hook pushes on the metal peg that lifts the paper bale. The paper bale doesn't drop further forward because it lands on a small metal tab. When the lever returns to its starting position, the same little peg is grabbed and the paper bale is lowered onto the paper. Pure mechanical magic. Alright, time to do some typing. 
that never gets old. It's, it's aligned, so it was already at one. Another thing I forgot to mention, the color selector is right here, so now it's black, let's put it in red for a while. Just too short to be in paper ejector. Anyway, bye bye. Have fun.